Uh, let's speak to John Murray, who's a TV host and a pop culture critic. He's joining us from Washington, D.C. Thanks for your time with us on Al Jazeera. You call him a legend, and I'm sure many people would agree with you. Uh, for you, what makes Larry King a legend? Well, Duran, he wasn't just a media legend, but he lived a legendary life. I mean, for more than a quarter of a century, Larry King, he held a destination on CNN as the face of primetime news. I mean, he took a fledgling news network and helped expand them and give them visibility to a global audience. And we're talking kings and queens, uh, presidents and pillars of pop culture. They all came to Larry uh, King when they wanted to share their story and speak to the world. You know, he was very matter-of-fact. He could get a little scrappy. He asked the questions that you were thinking, and then sometimes he'd ask questions and you'd wonder, what was he thinking? But, you know, unlike a lot of media professionals who do the work and then they live quietly behind the scenes, Larry, he became as big as the Hollywood stars he sometimes interviewed. The tabloids and the entertainment pages, they all loved his life and his multiple marriages. They covered all eight of them. And so he lived uh, a big life, he was a kind man, and he did it on his own terms. And that's the legacy that you want to live when you do the type of work that Larry King has done. And obviously, look, his career spanned radio, it spanned TV, it spanned digital. How do you think he changed the media landscape? Well, you know, he created a format. The, the manner in which Larry King hosted his show, uh, no one was doing that. And, you know, we know that CNN and other networks have tried to duplicate that formula uh, after he retired from that network, and they were never able to do it. And then, like a lot of people, he thought he was going to retire and maybe go play golf or something. But then after two years, he decided to do it all over again in a digital platform with the reincarnation of his show, Larry King Now, which aired in syndication and on streaming platforms. But he hosted so many hours on TV in his format during his time at CNN that he ended up and the Guinness Book of World Records. And so that that's a legacy and a milestone that only uh, we can dream of, Darren. Folks like us that also work in the media space, we want just a piece of the success that he had. Well, I know that you have met him several times, you say, at movie premieres. Is there a particular moment that stands out for you, or are there moments that you can think of that you'd like to share with us about Larry King? So, you know, I used to love to go to New York City to do the big movie premieres and the junkets and get the early screenings of film. And Larry was one of those guys, you always saw him about town, whether moving and shaking in the most popular restaurants, back when he was smoking outside, taking a smoke break outside. <laughs> but he was always at the film screenings. And you could go up to him and have casual conversation. He loved for young media professionals and just fans in general to come up and engage with him. And because, you know, uh, uh, you know, you see these people on TV and they have a persona, sometimes you're, uh, you know, you wonder if they're going to live up to uh, the expectation that you have. And he was somebody who exceeded everybody's expectation. He loved people. He loved giving advice. He loved taking photos and having good moments with you. And so that's how I remember him with my personal encounters, seeing him all around New York City. John Murray, it was a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. It's time. It's time.